Back here in Westchester County, a long simmering dispute between two Mount Vernon city workers leads to deadly violence. A DPW worker was fatally stabbed, and a water department worker is now charged with manslaughter and claiming self-defense. Tonight, we have the exclusive video of the fatal confrontation. CBS 2's Tony Aiello reports. A memorial marks the spot on East 3rd Street where 35-year-old Jenny Brown was fatally stabbed. And surveillance video shows the moments leading up to the Friday afternoon violence. 43-year-old Carlton Naughton, a city water department worker, sees Brown approaching with a knife and pulls out one of his own. Brown swings at Naughton, cutting his face. Naughton swings back and then follows Brown to the sidewalk. Mount Vernon police say Naughton stabbed Brown in the chest several times. The men continued to struggle before giving up and Naughton walked back to his city truck. Brown, a DPW worker, got on a scooter, went around the corner and collapsed. He later died at this local hospital. Monday in court, Naughton's legal team asserted he was acting in self-defense. Naughton's defense attorney says Brown, the victim, was, quote, stalking a member of Naughton's family, which had filed many complaints about Brown with Mount Vernon police. While video shows the victim took the first swing, the prosecutor says Brown was, quote, in retreat and had dropped his knife when he was fatally stabbed, justifying a manslaughter charge. I showed the video to attorney Troy Smith, a former prosecutor. Retreating would mean that he's moving far away. This is the continuation of the incident. That, that was going on. The prosecution has to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that he wasn't acting in self-defense. That's a very heavy burden to, for the prosecution to overcome. Monday, a judge set bail for Naughton at $25,000. A GoFundMe campaign is raising money for Brown's funeral and his young son. In Mount Vernon, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. In a Facebook post, Mount Vernon's mayor called the violence senseless and said cooler minds should prevail when settling disputes.